Today on the channel from the Infinity Saga via Marvel Legends, we've got Captain Marvel, we've got Rescue, we've got a lot of fun. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends Infinity Saga unboxing and review. And if you missed any of the other Infinity Saga ones, check them out on my channel. We've got Thanos, uh, Iron Man, Bro Thor, uh, Thunderstrike Thor, I don't know what we even officially call that one. Uh, Odin, of course, and I'm sure we'll have Quicksilver, Captain America, Iron Man. Uh, we did Happy Hogan and Iron Man already, so we've done a lot of them, but we got a lot to go still, and that's why we're turning our attention today to Marvel's Rescue and, of course, Captain Marvel. But remember, for all your Marvel Legends needs, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. But we turn our attention, like I said, to this two-pack that I got via Amazon.com. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is an Amazon.com exclusive as of right now. Uh, just shipping as of right now as well. Like a lot of these Amazon, or I should say Marvel Legend Infinity Saga figures, are hitting the streets right now. Especially Target seems to be the first place most people are finding them at. So if you're on the lookout for these... Hit the old online retailers, the big bad toy stores of the world, of course, but also your local Target stores if you have a local Target store. But we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other ones on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll do a few comparisons here, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at the packaging first. By now, we're pretty used to this Infinity Saga packaging. I really do like it. I always like black packaging. I like kind of the highlights and the colors to it. It really does pop. If you walk and turn the corner into a toy aisle, these figures pop out over most figures in the superhero aisle, especially. Uh, that's been my experience. If you watch my figure hunts on the uh, videos on the channel, that's kind of how I see it. But I like uh, the Infinity Saga logo right there. Of course, Hasbro Avengers. you got a big window box. You can see a lot of accessories here. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this pack. We'll get into that once we open it up and look at some of the comparisons of the ones we've had in the past. On the side, we got that whole Infinity Saga a uh, nice kind of glossy picture of all of our heroes and even some villains in there, of course. Pretty much the same type thing on the other side there. And there it is, Avengers Endgame at the top. Warnings on the bottom. And then the back is where the magic happens. We got the movie poster right there. We got bios for each in many different languages and warnings down below. So let's see what it says on the back of the package here. Let's read about Captain Marvel first. Captain Marvel uses her incredible powers to battle evil in the ultimate fight for the fate of the universe. So there you go. And then we got Rescue Armor. Rescue Armor. Outfitted with repulsors and a unibeam, Pepper's Rescue Unit is ready to step into battle against Thanos. Old Pepper Potts. There you go. Uh, let's unbox it, though. Let's get down to it. Let's see what's happening here. I do like the back of the packaging, as we've said before, that back window is pretty cool with all the different logos of all the different superheroes, all the different lines we've had over the years. Uh, just very, very cool. Stick that there off to the side. See you later. All right, a little plastic prison. Boy, we got a lot going on in here. Oh, I see something I don't like. I see something I don't like. We'll get to it. There it is, the old plastic prison. So a lot going on in here. Rescue, they all got a lot of stuff. There's a lot going on here. Pop everybody out. Gotta get these uh, blast effects. They're taped in. I got tape on my hand. There it is. Got extra heads. A lot more extra heads than I thought. Look at this tape will not leave me. There it goes. Get off of here. Get out of here, tape. What are we doing? There's that. And another piece of tape. And we got some more there. Captain Marvel. Gotta separate them. Gosh, there's tape everywhere. No twist ties, but tape a plenty. Tape a plenty. There it is. Bam. There it is. There it is. There it is. See you later, a pie. Get out of here. All right, let's get down to business. Where does one start here? Where do we start at? Hmm. All right, we'll start with rescue. Old Pepper Potts, and unfortunately on mine, she's got a some blue on the side of her face and some blue on her nose. Gosh, I've had such a good streak with my Marvel Legends figures, not having paint problems on the head sculpts or the face uh, this is the first one i've had in quite some time so that is really unfortunate as this is the best gwyneth paltrow head i guess we say that's who it is the actor or actress uh, that is a little disappointing there 
What is this deal? Where does this plug into? You have to figure that out too. So this plugs in somewhere. And I'll figure it out for the glamour shots. We got. I am gonna pop up. This is Kyle from the future here, coming back after the review was done, going back in. As I was trying to figure out for rescue how these wings popped in and plugged in those clear wings, it took me way too long. I guess you gotta be smarter than the toy. But on this open backpack for rescue, you have to remove the two gray silver ones. So it's a little bit of a choose your own adventure without the instructions, which makes it so much fun. But you pop these out, which is a little dangerous because the plastic isn't the thickest here. I could see people breaking this, but you pop these out and then these clear uh, pegs into the open ones pop in its place. So if you're wondering and trying to figure that out, uh, you know that's how it's done. So I'm helping you guys out a little bit there. It took me way too long to figure that out. And then playing around with it, I'll tell you what, these are very hard to get in. They don't stay in very well. Uh, and I could see the, these easily breaking off too. So I don't know about the construction here. I don't know what they were going for here. But I wanted to make sure I put that point in the video here. So Because, uh, yeah, it took a long time to figure this out. And it took a while to get them in there to stick and stay. And they still will fall out when bumped. So and it's a little bit uh, on the iffy side, if you ask me. But there's a little update. Now back to the review. Backpacks here. You got Rescue with her backpack closed. So you got that option. And then you got the uh, opened option as well. So we do like to see that. And then we've, of course, got the ones that fold in with the, the movement, the joints, all that kind of stuff. We've got two different ones there. Interesting. Go on the sides, of course. So there are those. So you got a lot of accessories here. we got two repulsor beams. We've seen these numerous times. Uh, just always good to get those. I guess you can use it for different characters. They also plug into the feet usually, just in case. That's another kind of pro tip out there. Yep. So you can put them on your hands, on the feet, wherever you want to put them. This is nice on this rescue figure as we do get extra heads here. Uh, Captain Marvel didn't get extra heads. I'm a little surprised for that. I would have gladly given up one extra rescue head for a Captain Marvel head. Uh, but it is what it is. But you got the uh, helmet head there. You could have her holding this. Or you could just have this uh, on the head. So you choose your own adventure there. And then you got one with the mask kind of flipped up. Well, not kind of. It is flipped up. So you have different options there. We did get rescue in the past as you guys are probably well aware of. Gosh, she part of the Infinity Avengers Infinity War wave, I believe it was. And I remember it being a very hard to find wave. It, it like came and went pretty fast, and it seemed to be around the holidays, so a lot of people missed it. Uh, seems to be a lot of reuse. I think it's probably the exact same figure for the most part. Looking at them side by side, it is the same figure. Uh, this has a little bit better color apps to it, a little brighter. So it's choose your own adventure. I think you have to have one with the helmet off, one with the helmet on. That's how I'm going to display it in my book. But this Gwyneth Paltrow head is a sleeper. It is a very, very good one. We've had a Gwyneth Paltrow head in the past. As you guys know, she did have an Iron Man 2 pack. Uh, I don't know. Both very good heads. This one, obviously, the new shiny toy. It's always improvements, constant improvements, constant learnings, I always say on the channel. And that's what uh, this got. I think it's an updated version here. Different movie, different year, but it does work. You can tell it's the most, I think. This one has a nice tanner skin to it. This one's a little bit uh, white, like she saw a ghost. Like she saw a ghost or something. But uh, we've had a few Gwyneth Paltrow's over the times. But not terrible. Like I said, we know this figure. We've had this figure. I've had this figure in my collection before. I think to me, I, since I have two, one is going to keep a mask on. One is going to have a mask off. I think that's pretty simple. A simple uh, way to go about it. Pop this on, see how it looks. Yeah, I don't really like this one with the mask up. This is the one I'd like to give up. I think if I had to give up a head scan to give one to Captain Marvel, this would be the one I would give up. That's just me, maybe. Uh, but we'll put this one on her. And she can look just like Rescue. There it is. So, yeah. Just like I said, it's the exact same thing. I almost like the old head better than the new head. And I could choose my own adventure a little bit. You could mix and match. But like I said, the color tones are a little brighter on this new one. So it might not match up uh, perfectly the way we want it to. Does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's always a test I like to do on the channel, as you guys know. Female figures do struggle being on stands, but she does fit. This takes a little work, but she will fit on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle, save 10%. I say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. So there you go. Uh, and like I said, a lot of backpack stuff, a lot of stuff. We'll put it up together in the old glamour shots for everybody. Uh, but it's okay. If you didn't have that old rescue or you needed an updated one, this one makes a lot of sense. And this, this is a lot of rehash in this pack. Character we've had uh, before, getting it again. So Captain Marvel, this is the one I found to be the jewel of the set. Uh, it's her Infinity War, Infinity Saga suit, you know, from the movie and all that fun stuff. 
as we did get many a Captain Marvel around her Captain Marvel movie figures. Uh, very cheap figures to get still to this day. There was a Walmart exclusive. There was Target exclusive. There was figures in the traditional line. A lot of these went to clearance. Uh, much before Katie, much before Rio AEW, there was Captain Marvel line. As that thing haunted the shelf pegs for an eternity. And I still see pictures from people posting in Ollie's. I don't have any Ollie's in my area, but I see people posting all the time. You can still get Captain Marvel figures at Ollie's. So one of the worst performing Marvel Legends lines of all time. I do wonder if that Eternals set will take the top notch after things are all said and done. I guess that's something to stay tuned for in the future here. But this Captain Marvel I do like. I like the bright colors. I like the updated outfit. I love the new head sculpt here. Uh, the old head sculpts weren't bad from the Captain Marvel line, as you can kind of see the difference here. Uh, very good head sculpts on both of them, but this one works really good with the shorter hair that she debuted in the Infinity Gauntlet or Endgame, I guess we should call it. Uh, just a much better figure. So this is the jewel of the set. Like I said, I had rescue, so that wasn't a lot of meat on the bone for me. This I do like. It is something we need for that Infinity Saga. We do get a ton of hands. We don't get an extra head. And I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, did she ever have her mask on or helmet on or any of that in Endgame? I don't think she did, so I guess that maybe explains... Uh, but I still would have liked to have it. They could have made it match work. I would have rather had that than all these extra hands. And these hands aren't even, I don't know, it's a palm with a, just a little arch and then there's a straight hand. It's basically the same thing twice. And then you get two fisted hands. I do appreciate the fisted hands, as you guys know. And then we do get, does that just fit over her hand? Or do you pull the hand off? That's always the the magic uh, question. I think, you, yep, you pull the hand off and there you go. She can wear the glove. Just like the movie. So there's people that I know will display her this way. I don't think I will. Uh, but that is a cool feature, a nice touch, as she did uh, take the glove on, take the glove challenge, uh, much like the old Nintendo Power Glove that we all know and love. So there it is. But yeah, Captain Marvel, I'm going to give her the Duke as the must-have of this set. I don't know where this set will go. Uh, Amazon exclusive, like I said, I'm 99% sure it's an Amazon exclusive, at least at this point. This is one of the things, that if you're a long game player, my recommendation, you wait till the holidays. As we see Amazon do crazy discounts on sets, especially their exclusives. I think you wait to the day after Thanksgiving, you wait between the holidays, you'll probably be able to get this thing for half off. And I'm just going to sit there and curse all you guys, say, oh, Kyle, he paid full price for this. I should have waited, should have waited a couple of months. Uh, because this isn't truly a must-have set for me. It's just, oh, shiny new toy, oh, exclusive, pre-order, I'm going to order it. And here we are. But if I would have waited a couple months, I think I could have saved some money. I, I would bet the house on that one. So that's my pro tip out there for you guys that are wondering about this. I think it will be restocked. Amazon will have it. It'll be a way to go. And uh, yeah, I strongly recommend to pick this pack up at a discount. I don't know. It's up to you. If you really like these characters, get it at full price. But for a discount, maybe 40 bucks, maybe 30 bucks, 35 uh, all day long, you'd want to get that, just for the Captain Marvel figure alone. Uh, very good. And Rescue's got enough meat on the bones, some different head scans and stuff, head sculpts, uh, extra heads. Uh, and if you didn't have the other one, it's a good one to get. So I think it uh, depends what kind of collector you are, depends what kind of fandom you are, uh, whether you need this one or not. But you guys can tell me in the comments, tell me your thoughts. You picking this up, you pass, is it an easy pass, is it a must-have? You tell me, you let me know in the comments. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. As you guys know, we got unboxings every single day of everything under the sun. So make sure you stay tuned. We got figure hunts. We got weekly purchases. You know by now, we got it all on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell while you do it. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Rescue, Captain Marvel, Amazon, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.